Well, last week, if you followed along, we got some tires set on these 11 wheels, supposed to be 12. But this week, we need to do the final finishing, sanding, and attaching the tires to the wheels. Now, when I shrink the tires, that actually does uh, set the tires pretty firmly to the wheels, but we put either pins or bolts in to keep the tires from shifting side to side while they're being used. So anyway, the first part of this video is doing the finish work on this one set of wagon wheels, two pair of car wheels, and a set of spring wagon wheels.
Well, many of you who have been following along in these videos since I started the Borax Wagon Project have become quite familiar with how wood wagon wheels and buggy wheels go together. So sometimes these videos get to be pretty repetitive. And I can sympathize with that, you know, after 42 years of doing wheels and literally thousands of wheels, I understand the mundane routine part of the wheel business. You know, wheelwright trade has a tendency to be thought of as a glamorous trade. Well, many of you are finding out that there really isn't always a lot of glamour involved. It's just as routine, day-to-day, get-it-done type of a business. And that kind of goes with any business and sometimes in many relationships. You know, the honeymoon time, the first part and everything is exciting and new. Well, after a while, some of that honeymoon wears off and it gets to be just get things done. So that's kind of what this is. You know, this part of this job is really literally pretty boring, pun intended. You know, I have a back room that I keep supplies in and you've seen me just go back there and pull out some spokes and some fellies and some lumber and whatever. Well, you know, it's pretty soon that supply runs out. Well, this week I had to go do some restocking of some of my material that I've been wagon bows with. So I had to spend, you know, not only about a day on the road picking up lumber and then unloading it and stacking it into the back shed. So that's part of this video, part of the boring part of business. You know, and another boring part of business is when I use old original Sarvan wheels with wood core hubs. Well, these have to be taper board to receive the boxings. So that's another part of this boring business in this boring video today is setting the boxings and the Sarvan wheels and finally putting on the rubber. You've seen this many times, so it's not as in-depth. I'll put up little links at the top where you can see more of these topics in depth if you desire to do so.
Well, as you can tell on this set of Sarvan buggy wheels, I'm still waiting for some rims or some fellows to show up to fix that fourth wheel. It'll show up eventually. Things seem to be slow nowadays for some reason, but we'll get it done. So once again, thanks for following along, even though it's boring. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching.